What's good, you two? We back at it again. Welcome to the Gods of Boxing Talk. Now, we want to do the recap of the uh, Manny Pacquiao versus Tim Bradley fight for the WBO International fucking minor title. Man, dog, we look like a bunch of motherfuckers that don't know what the fuck we talking about when it comes to predictions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, like I told somebody uh, earlier today, man, it's not about the prediction. You're going to get predictions wrong. That yeah. shit don't matter. It's all about how the predictor breaks down the fight. Now, if I'm breaking down a fight and it does not go not even 1% <laughs> of what I said, then I'll shut the channel down. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I don't give a fuck about missing predictions. That's going to happen. Shit, we, I was one for two this weekend. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? We, should I pick Bradley, Charles Martin, and I pick Gilberto Ramirez. I got Gil, Gilberto Ramirez right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it is what it is. Um, the WBO at 147, man, their rankings are looking kind of fucking whack. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Um, you know, the champion is uh, Jesse Vargas. And then now Manny Pacquiao will be the, the uh, mandatory with that WBO international title. So, I mean, a lot of people are saying Tim Bradley and Jesse Vargas will probably get matched up. Um, I don't think Tim Bradley deserves it. He should have won this fucking fight. That would have got him the, the mandatory rematch. So I think Manny Pacquiao deserves it, but he might not fucking want it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is, man. What did you think about this fight, boss? I'm going to go ahead and break it down right after you. Uh, this shit was horrible, man. Not the not the fight, but uh, Tim Bradley's performance was just was, was absolute shit. I think so. Man, shit was horrible, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, check this out. Okay, okay. And here's why. First off, nothing that Timothy Bradley did Saturday was professional. Everything that he did, to me, in my opinion, was amateurish. Right, right. After every single round, Timothy Bradley looked like he needed a fucking hug when he went back to his corner. Oh. After, after every round, he would go like this. He would. This is exactly what he would do. He would go... <laughs> And yeah. when he was in the corner and Teddy Atlas was talking to him, he had his head down. He was like, yeah. Yeah. you know, I mean, it, 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 it looked like just a beaten man. Like he, for, for, first off, it looked like he, to me, it looked like he didn't want to be in there. It looked like after every round, he was, he was thinking that he could do more, but he just couldn't. Right. And then when he went back to the corner, it looked like he wanted to be consoled instead of verbally challenged by his trainer. Right. You know what I mean? And right. I mean, that to me, man, it just looked like a fucking amateur. It looked like a fighter who was either overtrained or ill-prepared. And I know with with Teddy Atlas, I don't think he was ill-prepared. He might have been a little bit overtrained, you know, and he might have had too much of what Manny Pacquiao could do on his mind because it, the motherfucker just couldn't pull the trigger. Mm. You know, mm. and he was throwing, and man, and what was pissing me off, and man, I, I, I mean, I wish I could have recorded uh, myself during this fight, that, you know, because he was throwing this bullshit ass jab, man, and man, he was timing it, and he was just coming right with it. He was, st I mean, it, it, it honestly, he made Manny Pacquiao look like. And I ain't trying to blow the motherfucker up, <laughs> but he made him look like the 2016 version of like 2008. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this motherfucker was, I mean, he was hitting different spots of the ring. He was letting his hands go. Timothy Bradley, to me, was not letting his hands go enough. He was uh, steady that. trying to box Manny from the outside. And this is what I've said about Manny before. Uh, I said this in the gym. Uh, 2K. I said Manny's one of the only small fighters that I know primarily fight from the outside. Everything he does from the outside, he's not really an inside fighter. Who is this? Uh, Manny Pacquiao. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and I couldn't believe that Bradley was just, he was literally just sitting there, man, like just trying to, you know, jab, 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 jab. And man, Pacquiao was like, boom, motherfucker, okay, do that again. Boom, and, and I, man, I, I, I don't know, man. Like I said, I gotta go back and watch the fight. From what I've heard, 
Some people said it was closer uh, than what I thought. I honestly thought that Manny Pacquiao dominated. I thought um, I probably would have gave uh, Tim Bradley maybe three rounds. Um, but to me, man, Pacquiao, he, he looked very, very good. So you added nine rounds to three for, for Pacquiao. Yep. Yeah, we going to differ on this one. Okay, okay. Um, I've watched the fight twice. And the first time around, I had it extremely close. Okay. I still had Pacquiao winning. The second time around, I still had Pacquiao winning, but a little bit wider of a margin. Okay. Um, what I saw in this fight is it boils down to this, man. Look, look here, bro. <laughs> about to dig in this motherfucker's ass, nigga. No, no, no. <laughs> Tim Bradley, come here, bro. Come here, Tim. Let me tell you something, man. Hey. Stop trying to get motherfucking accepted. Yeah. These niggas don't like you, bro. It don't matter what the fuck you do, all right? In doing so, he over-respects Manny yep. Pacquiao. You see what I'm saying? I think he is truly intimidated, not by Manny Pacquiao so much, but by the fan perception. If he were to beat yep. Manny Pacquiao, you know, with, with ease, like Floyd Mayweather did. Yep. I think he truly is intimidated by the fan perception. Mm -hmm. Case in point, the first fight, right? Lead up to the first fight, he was like, I don't give a fuck who this motherfucker is. I'm TB, Tim Bradley, you know what I'm saying? Little yeah. big man. <laughs> he can't fuck with me. He's a good fighter, but he can't fuck with me. And what did he do? He went into the fight. He did what he had to do. I thought he won the first fight. A lot mm -hmm. of other uh, experts thought he won the first fight, which he yeah. did. He wins the first fight because he did not show Manny Pacquiao any more than the level of respect that you're supposed to show your opponent, right? Yeah. There is a minimum amount of respect that you should show any opponent, even the bums, because these average motherfuckers out here, they won't get in the ring with nobody. If you mm -hmm. pay them money, they too fucking bitch to get in the ring. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to respect your opponent just because he gets in the fucking ring. And that's as far as it goes. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's where Manny Pacquiao left it. But then all this shit happened, right? He started getting death threats. He started saying uh, uh, stupid shit. Like, at first he was like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go back and watch the fight. And then he came out and was like, I won the fight eight rounds of four. Then he started seeing how many people started hating him. Then he was like, well, I, I could have lost. The yeah. fuck you mean, nigga? <laughs> if you watched the fight and said you won it eight rounds to four, then how the fuck you moved to, well, I could have lost. The fuck? Mm. Stop giving a fuck what these niggas care, what, what they think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he took that into the rematch, right? And what did he do? He wanted to please the fans. Mind you, he's he's beating Tim, I mean, uh, Manny Pacquiao to the punch in yeah. the first half of the second fight, right? Then he mm. just wants to please the fucking fans. And don't and don't and don't get it twisted, people. We know he said he strained his calf muscle, right? Mm -hmm. But what was he saying all the whole time the build up of the fight? I'ma try to knock Manny Pacquiao out. I'ma get the fans what they want to see. This shit was planned. All right. Yeah. I think the whole I hurt my calf muscle was bullshit in that mm. second fight. You see what I'm saying? I just think he felt like he didn't do what he wanted to do, and he said he hurt his calf muscle. Yeah. Right. Now it leads into the third fight. All right. <laughs> This motherfucker is completely gun shot. Says, I'm watching the goddamn fight with Ace, right? Yeah. We watching the fight, all right? I'm sitting there looking at Manny Pacquiao come forward with his fucking left hand down. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. why are you not throwing the straight right hand? When he threw it, it was money, right? Yeah. And that was part of the, the actual breakdown we said in our video. When we mm -hmm. broke the fight down, we gave our prediction. We didn't say shit about Manny because Manny doesn't give you different looks. Yeah. Manny's the type of fighter that gives you the same shit every time. Why do you think every time he fought Marquez, Marquez became closer and oh, closer yeah, yeah. and closer yeah. to beating him with each subsequent fight? Because he is the same fighter every time out. Yeah. Right? So there's all Manny had to do was be Manny to win. And that's exactly what the fuck he did in this fight. He was Manny. Right? Tim Bradley, like we said, he needed to throw the straight right hand. One thing Sus took note of, he needed to go to the body. I didn't see much yeah. of that shit. I didn't see, man. Right. He, 
He, he, he, he, he, body shots. <laughs> no body shots. No body shots, right? Um, he also needed to listen to his trainer. Now, that was the big one. That was the big one that I was basing who mm. wins this fight off of. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Yeah. Tim Bradley was supposed to have a newfound motivation with Teddy Atlas, right? Yeah. And what we saw in this fight was him go back to the old Tim Bradley. And Teddy Atlas seen it too. Just look yeah. at Teddy Atlas' face after the fucking fight. Look at Teddy Atlas in the corner. He's giving Tim Bradley the absolute correct game plan. Yep. He's telling him exactly what the fuck he needs to do. But Tim Bradley, Bradley even said it himself in the post-fight press conference, I just couldn't do it. Yep. I just couldn't do it, right? And the reason being, for me personally, I think it's because he respects Manny Pacquiao way too much. I think he respects Manny Pacquiao more than he respects Teddy Atlas. It's almost oh, wait. like... It's almost like... Uh, t- Tim Bradley is a Manny Pacquiao fucking fan. Fan, yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the look at the post fight when they're talking about him getting knocked down. This motherfucker says, oh. "Ooh, we." Oh, Who the no. fuck talks about another man beating your ooh. motherfucking ass? Like, ooh, we, man. I ain't know yeah. where that came from, man. Come here, Manny. Let me just suck your goddamn dick. <laughs> That's all. This is what the fuck he should have did. He should have just got on his knees and started blowing this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I, at least I would have been like, yeah, that's about right. That's what he should be doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real talk, man. You didn't come to fight. You did not execute the game plan you're supposed to do to win. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. When you look at these two guys, right? Tim Bradley has the fucking tools. He has the tools to beat Manny Pacquiao. Yeah. He has the tools. But he is truly intimidated by what the fans think if he goes out there and beats Manny Pacquiao. Plus, he respects Manny Pacquiao's left hand way too fucking much. Oh, yeah, way too much, man. Way too much, man. Now, the thing that I'm looking at in this fight, he came out fast, uh, Tim Bradley did. He actually controlled the pace of almost every round. I mean, if you go back and look, take the knockdowns away, right? And okay. just think, who landed the cleaner shots? Tim Bradley. Mm. Manny Pacquiao, he landed some left hands here and there, right? Yeah. He did land that, that quick left hand that knocked him down, the second legitimate knockdown. The first knockdown, I didn't think it was that legit. Because if you look Minute. at the punch, Minute. it almost looked like it slid off his face. There was nothing on that punch. And yeah. it looked like, to me, Tim Bradley slipped a little bit. And a lot of people out there... To my to my amazement, they actually believe Tim Bradley slipped a little bit on that on that on that first knockdown. But it yeah. is what it is. Tony Weeks called it what he called it, right? But the second knockdown, that was legit. It yeah. was caught yeah. off balance. It was a straight left hand right in his face. You can even see Tim Bradley's face moving and shit mm-hmm. when you when you stop the uh, the the, uh, the actual picture, right? Yep. And look, my bad, 2K. My bad. My bad. Let me let me add this in there. With the first knockdown, it, it pissed me off even more. Everybody in my house knew it wasn't a legit knockdown, it um, except for fucking Tim Bradley. Yep. He didn't even protest what Tony Weeks had ruled. Yep. He just got back up and he was just like, you know, okay, cool. You yeah. know, I mean, it, 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 it was, like I said, man, it, it, it just looked like, he looked like a fucking amateur, man. Yeah. Just his demeanor, his body language, everything about him that night. It, 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 it just looked like he literally just, couldn't pull the trigger, man. He he was following Manny with his right hand cock. He was hesitating on some of his punches. He was telegraphing a lot of his punches, man. It was almost like he was like, you know, uh, I, uh, I want to hit I you. I want to throw it, but I don't know if I should because yeah. you might <laughs> counter me. That's not the point, motherfucker. Man, everybody knows. My daughter knows. My six-year-old daughter knows. Manny Pacquiao is susceptible to the straight right hand. Everybody knows this. He's been susceptible to the straight right hand his entire fucking career. He's not just gonna wake up one day and be like, you know what? I ain't getting hit by that punch no more. 